under a lustrous sky in Ann Arbor, Michigan. You're watching the Big Ten on ABC. College football is back, and today we have a torrential flow of it. Colorado State against the reigning Big Ten champs from Michigan in this venerable edifice, the Big House. Took Nevada's previous team to four bowls in the last five years. They swing it out of the backfield. Complete, but lower to go for Vivens, brought down immediately by Mike Morris. That's going to be a loss of one on the play. Sets up a second down. Down the field, run up tempo, schemes to try to tire them out. And they're going to run it up to the 49-yard line. A lot of familiarity coming into the game. Third down and six for Clay Millen. Snap is high, and he's going to be sacked behind the line of scrimmage by Mike Sainstrom. Sainer still, former wide receiver a season ago, two-yard loss on the play. Of Alex Smith versus Colin Kaepernick when he's with the San Francisco 49ers, and he's right back in that dilemma again. They run it across the formation. Corum breaks it loose. Got into space, picked up the first down. Henry Blackburn finally chopping him down, but he picks up 19. This is what the Joe Moore Ward offensive line does. They move people. First down and 10 from the 39. Wolverines in a trip's right. Little bubble screen complete to Roman Wilson. Got a great block, sprung loose. Tiptoe. Wilson still on his feet. Magic from Michigan. Touchdown. When we talked to Coach Harbaugh, he said, I want to know the guys that are going to block for the touchdown. Don't just dream about the big play. And there's Roman Wilson tiptoeing in his Jordans down the <laughs> sideline for a touchdown. Wilson with his fifth touchdown of his career. And it was Harbaugh that told us yesterday in our meetings that he's expecting Wilson to have a breakout season. We're going to take a short Let's break. Rams respond here. Millen completes it out of the backfield for Bivens, and he's met immediately for a gain of about two. Junior Colson. Millen steps up, avoids harm, and throws a pick at the 50. It's coming back. Rod Moore still on his feet inside the 15 to the 12-yard line. Braden McGregor put good pressure on Clay Millen to force the pick. Yes, Mark, Clay Millen did a nice job stepping up in the pocket, and you'll see this is the safety right here that he's just not paying attention to. As the play rolls, you see the pass rush, he's looking, and you can see his vision cone there. The safety Rod Moore steps right in front of it. An imposing target at six foot five. McNamara comes underneath and it's incomplete intended for Cornelius Johnson that's great coaching right there second and ten handed off into the boundary and a nice shoelace tackle back to Murray. throws an interception gave it right back to Howell and the Rams have possession Boy, oh boy. It was determined that the ball hit the ground. The defender did not maintain possession. Therefore, it was an incomplete pass. It'll be fourth down. Rosa Award winner Jake Moody to attempt the 31 yard field goal. Got a strong leg. And an accurate one as well. Knocks it through to make it a 10 0 football game. This is what the air raid is all about. High snap, they get it out on the receiver screen, complete to Horton trying to get to the edge, but he's brought down after about a two-yard gain. Between the quarterback and the tailback there, Vivens. They run that pistol. And there's going to be no gain on the play. Benny's makes the tackle a gain of one. But that was last year. It's about the present. And presently, this defense has been suffocating. Vivens. Couldn't make the catch. It's going to be fourth and long coming up. The Rams will have to punt again. 
Titans QB1 this for this week. Next week it'll be J.J. McCarthy against Hawaii. McNamara hands it off on first down. Running the ball is their identity. They are going to force their will on them. Second down and four. McNamara gets it out quickly, complete for the first down to Luke Schoonmaker, the tight end. Catching the conference title game against Iowa. This time they hand it off between the tackles. That's Donovan Edwards. Stopped up for a short gain by Daquan Jackson. Donovan Edwards in motion, sets, quick slant, complete. That's going to be a first down catch by Ronnie Bell, whose backside never touched the turf, kept the play alive, and number eight is back. His elbow didn't touch. The microphone is yours, Ann Arbor. That crowd applause you hear is for Ronnie Bell, who was hurt in the first game last year, suffered an ACL injury. So let's watch and see. Oh, right yep. there, you can see his arm went down. But Mark, you ain't lying. The crowd was excited. Yeah. They're going to run it again. Corum stopped up right near the line of scrimmage by Francis. Second and nine. McNamara. There's a flag down. The pass completed the 38 yard line. Good catch in traffic by Johnson. From the 38. On the reverse, this is Henning. And Henning tackled at about the 31 yard line. Second and four. Checks it down underneath, complete to his tailback, Corum. And Corum. McNamara worked a lot on his accuracy over the offseason. He didn't need it this time. Hands it off. Straight away between the tackles to Donovan Edwards again, who moves the chains. It'll be first down and goal for Michigan from the six yard line. Edwards picked up nine. Max lining up out of the eye. They'll run it again. And a great tackle in the backfield that time. Time to bow up if you're the Rams. Against the run again, Corum. Not much room as he tried to turn it north south. Picked up a yard on the play. Sets up a third down and goal for the Wolverines as we wind the clock down towards the end of this opening quarter of play. Cameron Carter made the tackle on the play for the Rams. And got three receivers out to the left of McNamara. Comes back the other way on the move. And using good discernment, throws it out of bounds. Fourth and goal. Camara in hot pursuit. Work he's done with Jordan Palmer, his quarterback skills coach this summer out in California. The field goal good from Brad Robbins. His second of the afternoon. And Michigan up 13 to nothing. Pardon me, that was Jake Moody. With his second field goal. And his second good one of the day. Just underway here in the second quarter. Facts. Colorado State going to run it for two yards. That's going to be moral. Hey, what about what? Second down and eight. No one sacked. And that's going to be an incomplete pass. Boy, facing a lot of heat. Caught some smoke that time. Yeah, so drops, no, drops just, just through our here. research, our, our producer Kim Belton, he's, right. uh, he's a wordsmith. He, he found out that Michigan is actually derived from the Ojibwe word Michigami, which means large water. Mm. And those guys learned how much water is in this state, and now they're trying to flood. Well, see what you did there. Coming in like a flood, a tidal wave of defense for the sack on Clay Millen. Mike Morris leading the way as the dam broke on that offensive line for the Rams. Right of Cade McNamara. They choose to run it. Good call, Edwards. Trying to bounce it outside. Brought down about five yards short of the first down. So it's third down and about five. Lede making the tackle. He blew out while he was at Nevada. And it's interesting why he made that decision. Something feel a little 
interesting about that. Nice run between the tackles by Donovan Edwards. Well, like Robin. And here he is again over the right side. First year head coach trying to establish your culture, right, Robert? No doubt about it. Second and goal. Into the boundary for him again. The North South. Touchdown, Michigan. Corum using that strong, thick lower body strength. Thicker than a Snickers, Robert. Oh, is he Kyle Lowry? <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Extra point good, it's 20 to nothing. Corum with his 14th rushing touchdown of his career. And Michigan in control. One more look. And watch the big fella, Zach Center, pull out in front, driving his man to the sideline, allowing Blake Corum to tiptoe into the end zone. Collegiately at Washington, his first road game as a collegian was right here at the big house in Michigan. Millen zips it in there complete. Let's get back to our athletic trivia question. Stoops and that staff and the different coaches that he has pollinated with who have benefited. But now is his turn, and I think he's in a great spot here. And they complete the pass cue to Horton. Horton picks up a couple of yards. More accountable. The scales have balanced a little bit more and tipped more towards the players. And no play here. Flag down. Quarterback down. Under a heavy rush led by Michael Barrett. On their own 41. Still haven't scored a point in this football game. Michigan's defense with three sacks already in the first half. Millen on the run. Slides in short of the first down by about five yards. I like the call. Look for them to try to get the ball to number 14, Torrey Horton. Out of the shotgun. And there's the fourth sack of the afternoon for the Wolverines. They'll take over on downs. Well, guess what? McGregor. Yeah, but guess what? You can't look for the guy that's your third down guy in Torrey Horton if you're getting harassed in the backfield. And you're going to see Jalen Harrell get past the tackle. And then Braden McGregor's going to come in and finish him off. Everyone's worried. The coach Jim Harbaugh was making was to the fact that you plant, you plant two seeds, you water them both equally, and you see which one grows and develops. And there's also a, limit, uh, a level of the transfer portal, and he doesn't want one of them to leave because he's got two great players. That part. That pass complete to the tight end. What a grab in traffic. Eric All is all that. And a first down. What a big day for him. At 7.30 a.m. this morning, his girlfriend gave birth to their son, Houston Xavier All. Eight pounds, four ounces. And I'm not sure if he verbally committed to the maize and blue yet, but congratulations, Eric All. Level tight end, and this is a great day for him. He'll be able to tell his son he caught a pass the day he was born and played a game against Colorado State. That pass incomplete at 7.30 a.m. this morning. <laughs> that pass way high, incomplete. Intended for Roman Wilson, who had that mm. touchdown catch and run a little bit earlier. Oh, Cade got locked in there, guys. He had a guy streaking across the field. Touchdown if he'd have just got off of the outside receiver. Mm. So in comes the place kicker. Once again, it'll be Jake Moody, who's connected on two field goals already today from 26 and 31. This one's going to come from 34 yards out. Won the Luke Rose Award a season ago as the top in college football. This one coming from the left hash. Light work. Light work. They've got a Groza Award winner as their place kicker. You see, when you get receivers in space, space is a defense's nightmare. Melquan Stovall, nice play there, getting up the field and getting a spark to this offense. Vivens runs it off the left tackle, picked up about two on the play. Will Johnson, one of the leaders on that offensive side of the football, quick receiver screen, bubble screen, 
Boy, that Michigan defense can run. Kari Page was the first one to get there. Got four receivers out. Millen under duress and sacked. Brought down at the 41, 41 yard line. Fifth sack of the afternoon. That time Chris Jenkins got there. Jenkins, one of those guys that uh, you know learned in wake of that defeat against Georgia in the college football playoff game. He put on 25 pounds of strength. They've got some behemoths on that defensive front. He and Mozzie Smith. Oh yeah, they call Chris Jenkins the mutant. And when you're 6'3", 285 and moving like that, I understand why. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. Millen, ball comes loose. And it's going to be an incomplete pass. No, it's not whistle dead. It's still alive. Turner is going to waltz into the end zone for a touchdown. The ruling on the field is a fumble recovered by the defense for a touchdown. They go for it on fourth down, and Michigan's defense gets the turnover recovery and the touchdown. If you're Clay Millen here, you got to have that clock go off and say, hey, i got to get rid of the football. They've been harassing me all day. But what a job by D.J. Turner right there. Always played through the whistle. They didn't blow it dead. Get a stiff arm. D.J. Turner on the ones and twos, <laughs> walking in the end zone. you got to love it. Millen going through his progressions there and start to this third quarter for the Wolverines defensively conversely for Colorado State an indecorous ignominious start here in the second half things getting worse it's 30 love for the Wolverines some real unique athletic talents and functional strength Mozzie Smith has it this time, Goodwin's going to run it into the boundary, nowhere to go. Turn it into money, right? <laughs> Put the money on tape. And in the drills, 35 million. Going to be sacked again. That's the sixth one of the afternoon for Michigan. And the beat goes on and on. Jenkins, Graham, and Moore in on that one. Oh, my Lord. Seven sacks. Seven sacks. These guys are seeing blood out there on the field. Just watch them. They're rushing five. They're all meeting the quarterback in the backfield like it's a defensive team meeting. Wow. It's going to be uh, an interesting game. I it should, be a, should be a barn burner. I smell money. Albany, New York. Albany. 924. Oh, oh, a hurdle by Corum getting his Devin Allen on. I mean, that was impressive athleticism. Little receiver screen, getting to the edge. It's Roman Wilson. Had that touchdown receive reception a little bit earlier down in Miami at Hard Rock Stadium. Coach Prime doing his thing. Slack against the Jets. Yeah. It's usually a Ronnie Bell type of situation. He checks it down underneath to Edwards. And Edwards going to be stopped up close, but apparently short of the first down. Good tackle by Chiggy. Their best cover corner, showing that he can tackle. They're going to line up and go quickly on fourth and short. And they'll pick up the first down. Donovan Edwards moves the chains for the Wolver Wolverines. QB2, J.J. McCarthy enters the ball game. Yeah, talk about Chiggy. I'm going to see him over there for Colorado State at the corner position. He's not, not trying to let anybody get chiggy with it on his <laughs> side of the field. He's knocking everything down. Stokes in the backfield. McCarthy out of the shotgun. Hands it off to Stokes. Stokes into space and inside the red zone at the 18-yard line. Got a great block from Jones. And Three receivers out to the right. He's going to keep it himself. McCarthy, great move, accelerates and scores.
That's the extra dimension that you were just alluding to a moment ago, Robert Griffin III. J.J. McCarthy popped the clutch and ran into the end zone. I mean, he got away. And you'll see it. J.J., he makes the right read, makes a move in the open field, and jump man, jump man, jumping. That boy is up to something. <laughs> that seed is certainly growing, and he's yep. putting Jim Harbaugh in even more of a bind. Because just like that, he steals the show. More points, more problems. More quarterbacks, more problems. <laughs> Good dilemma to have, though. Michigan up 37 to nothing right now. J.J. McCarthy on that. Next time I wear an all red you know, uniform so I can get a whole new fit. <laughs> Second down and five for Colorado State. They try and punch it straight ahead with Avery Morrow. Sure, you know. <laughs> He's always won, Robert. Rams going to run it again down to the 34. Barrett making the stop on Avery Morrow. It's going to be fourth. On fourth and long, fourth and three. They rack up another sack. Mozzie Smith. Poetry is part of his major. Putting together some poems for a future assignment. Here's some poetry in motion. McCarthy with a first down across the 40 down to the 39 of Colorado State. They played in 11 games last year. Cade started the whole season, so they're ready to roll this year. He's going to keep it himself on the RPO. Stays on his feet. Tiptoes down the sidelines to pick up the first down. Tremendous agility. Little bubble screen complete out to the edge. Anthony. And he's brought down after a gain of about seven yards down and really it's just what's your flavor you like chocolate or vanilla to me Kate is vanilla JJ is chocolate and we got a third quarterback in now Alex Orgy, Alex Orgy number 10 yeah, takes the snap and runs it yeah we I'm gonna leave I guess the, they do uh, have an embarrassment of riches I'm gonna leave the, huh? the puns alone for that Man. last name but I do like the number 10. He's going to do that and get put in the friend zone. I was going to say, some of those <laughs> girls right there in the front look like they're trying to get married tonight. <laughs> That's complete. McCarthy throwing a dart to Henning. McCarthy, Robert, showing off a strong arm there on that quick out pattern. Yeah, he's trying to let everybody know that he's not the... the not, no one-trick ponies out right. here. All these guys can, can go out there and play the position. It's just... The quarterback is so for him to come out and put on this showcase right now in limited action is impressive. McCarthy hands it off. His tailback straight between the tackles down to the one yard line. Donovan Edwards in the shadows of the end zone again for the Wolverines. A 12 yard gain. They get up to the line of scrimmage quickly. They're going to go fast here. Edwards again, and he'll score. Touchdown, Michigan. And you can pretty much feel the Rams wilting under the strength of the Michigan Wolverines right now. Donovan Edwards with his fourth rushing touchdown of his career. He actually lost 25 pounds. Wow. He's going to be there for Second down and six. Millen just got rid of it complete. Out of the backfield, that's David Bailey again. Right. See what it was really like, and Dad said that Michigan passed with flying colors. They were the same as they were as when they made their official visit. And he has had a wonderful experience and here. They brought him in because they wanted some continuity in their system on defense, so the guys are. Oh. Shot downtown, and it's caught. Touchdown, Horton. That's not what Minter wanted to see defensively. Yeah, here we are just giving some praise to the D coordinator. <laughs> and then if you're a Colorado State fan, you're like, come on, man. Why weren't you guys doing this earlier in the game, taking those shots down the field? Under nine minutes to go. It's 44 to 7. The play fake. Wide open underneath to Stokes. 
And pushed out of bounds. They're going to spot it at the 43-yard line. Eight. It's always important for people to understand how far the game has come from back in those days. It's evolved in a big way. Alan Bowman at quarterback passed that complete. In the room to understand that the rooms that are the most successful are the ones that say each Okay. And I have my own experience with that. Hitting the road and getting a fresh start. Yeah, that's a great thing to contemplate. Couldn't get the answer right after this. Pass complete to the tight end. Colson Loveland, and he's close to another first down for the Wolverines. Yeah, how's that work? Cade McNamara is the definition of a Michigan man, right? He's gone out here. He's earned the respect and trust of his teammates. He has been voted a captain. Can't wait to see what it looks like in week three. <laughs> when the dust settles, Robert Griffin III, Stokes. On this staff with her brother, Mike Morris, on the defensive side as one of their top passers. On the handoff, couldn't get to the edge. The best college football games of the year. And they are simply the best, Mark. And so happy you were able to shout them all out and give them the credit. That's good. Fourth and goal. Touchdown. That was Orgy. Mark, I love the number 10, because we love to see number 10s in the end zone. Well, I'm not saying a word about that last name right there. Staying away from that one. It's 51 to 7. And you're going to see they bring in the big quarterback. He makes the read. And what do you know, guys? It's an orgy in the end zone. Fourth and one. And that's going to be it. Michigan Wolverines with another win at home. They went undefeated at the big house last year. A couple of former foes in the Big Ten as players, friends as coaches, and players in the NFL meeting at midfield. Michigan wins it 51 to 7.